Okay, here's the Nelson Brothers uh, igniter trip. This one is, uh, I've taken it apart, and you can see it's uh, quite worn, quite worn here. So, what I'll do is I'll chuck it up in the lathe, and we'll drill this out and put a new one in. And possibly I'll measure it up and see if uh, we just ream a new hole just to, uh, to chew it up and we'll go from there. Alright, it's shot up in the lathe right now. All I'm going to do is uh, poke a center hole here and then I will uh, cut this flush. And then I'll uh, drill it out till we can um, uh, take this off and then put a new pin in. And always be safe around moving objects, especially on this setup on a laser. You can always get caught up and it'll be sure ugly. And I have my big gulp with me too. Well, I'm back, but I have to kind of apologize here. I kind of forgot to uh, uh, film making this pin, but it's not the most exciting thing. But some people might like to see it, but uh, it ended up uh, ended up opening these two holes up to thirty-three sixty-four. It's just about uh, fifteen thou bigger with. It's not too big of a deal, and uh, I put a shoulder on here so it can't can't go through anymore, and uh, put some Loctite in here, and it was about half a thou tight. Press pressed it in, and that's not coming out now. Um, the igniter trip is uh, I left it a. Three, four thou loose. I don't want it to uh, be too tight because it'll just rust up or something binds in it and it'll just jam. So, next to do is just clean it up and paint it and we'll go on to the next step.
Hello YouTubers. Next we're going to uh, work on the uh, mag for the Norton battery. And she was all worn out. See what we can replace or rebuild. But it seems to be all there and the points look pretty good. There's quite a bit of meat left on them. And not seeing any cracks yet or broken parts yet. The only thing that's really driving me nuts is I got three different sizes here. Some three eighths, half inch, and seven sixteenths. So I'm not too sure what's all going on there, but uh, I'm going to correct that and have it all one size. Another thing, I don't know if I have to uh, recharge the magnet yet, or, but it seems to have quite a bit of pull, so, which is a good thing. So, well, I'll start pulling it apart and we'll see what we're getting into. Well, I've got it pulled apart a little bit. Um, these two threads are good. It looks like someone tapped out this one oversized. And this one doesn't have too much thread in there, so I'm going to have to figure something out on that one. And Well, this little guy off the whole spring or well, has threads in there and I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to have threads in there but I'm not a mag expert so maybe I'll make another one of those not a big deal to make this looks factory but like I said I'm not a mag expert I just know how to tend to get them going and Take the slop out of them. And know how to charge them. So, well, I'll take it apart a little bit more and let you guys know what's going on. Well, I've got it taken apart, and for a so-called rebuilt motor, I don't know. Uh, this armature looks a little bent to me. I'm not too sure what's all going on there. I'm going to have to do a little bit of research. But to me, I don't think that's right. The shafts are very worn here. Obviously, nobody ever oiled it. But it does have nice uh, oiling cups. Which usually they're missing half the time. But I guess nobody oiled it. So, hmm. The bearings are shot. This one happens to be broken. So... See if I can find another one. Um, the key was in this guy, but uh, for the, the anvil off, it had no key. So I don't know what's going on there. So I don't know if it was lining up properly or what. So they just pulled the key out and just hopefully, hopefully, uh, Hope that the tape were just holding in place, or but that's not right. You need a key in that, and there were three different type of screws coming out. So, well, I'll get back at it, and I'll find out what's right and what's wrong on, and I'll let you guys know. Well, I got the mag back together, and. Um, I shimmed it to take some of the end play out of it. Uh, I also uh, kind of bent test it, flicked it to make sure I had an arc, and it arced pretty good. So I think it's going to work. Be good for what we're going to use it for. I um, started on the igniter. I already pulled the one igniter shaft off. And um, 
I think that's probably gonna land up a little bit another day too. All I'll do is make sure the 45 degree back here tapered into the back of the igniter here. I'll just lap it in. Um, the shaft wasn't really that bad, really, so I've seen worse than that. There's a bring that whole dish in tight, so everything else seems not, not too terrible condition, so. And don't know if I have to put making light in it, but we'll find out. After playing with it for a couple hours, realigning the armature and everything in it, I've got it sparking pretty good. So I'm, I'm happy with this setup. Took me a while, but I did it. Another piece of the, the old little Nelson Brothers getting closer to being done.